Hi and welcome back to this series of videos. We're talking about Centrify Privilege Service. And we've done videos about the user experience, privilege session brokering, shared account password management, and now we're going to talk about end-to-end -end auditing. But first, it's important to understand that depending on how this password management privilege session solutions are architected, there's a major issue. And one is this jump boxes, you can only audit people if they go through the jump box. This is where combining Centrify Server Suite with Centrify Privilege Service will give you the best bang for your buck. CPS is enabled to use local Centrify direct audit installations. What that means is that in addition to the session proctoring that we can do, and I think we actually showed that before, right? In the session proctoring, what it does, it allows you to watch a session in real time, right? What, not, what I'm talking here is not the session proctoring. So in here, notice that everything that I do here, I can actually uh, look at, right? Um, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about the actual, you know, uh, reviewing sessions, being able to look at the transcription and a movie of what happened if needed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate a couple of sessions, one to my Solaris machine. This is going to be uh, through the account, and I'm going to make it a, um, a an assisted uh, login. So uh, this this should give me um, you know uh, you know a manual login to to that to that machine. And um, so in here I'm just going to type some commands: ls minus l bash uh, bash. Uh, AD info clear um, PS minus EF. So uh, with Centrify, you can use uh, the existing the existing uh, direct audit infrastructure or the one that you will deploy through the jump box. And it's very simple. You can just you can just look at the session. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. And and what you'll see is that I should have a session with root to my Solaris 10 machine. And this corresponds to the things that I did. This is a transcription of what I did, and I can always replay it if needed. Another benefit is that I can always search for this, and I have the ability to do this uh, very granularly. So I'm going to do a replay, and that should come up with the Centrify player uh, that will show me the session. Um, however, I am I am very interested in in uh, uh, a different scenario, and it's the scenario in which I bypass uh, the you know the the jump server uh, you know completely. So in here, when when you see this, and I actually launched it several times, uh, you'll see that I ha I have the session. I can always replay it. That's not a problem, right? And I can fast forward and rewind. So let's go ahead and see. Not nothing special here, right? Uh, however, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump from here to a different server. Um, I'm not auditing this session at, as it stands right now, and it's going to emulate as if I'm going directly to a system uh, without going through the through the vault. So I'm gonna uh, switch to another account. I think Tetsu. So um, okay, so the user is not authorized. Let's let's see if we can do it with Fred. Fred should should be allowed to do so. So yeah, so this is effectively, and again, you know, I have other assets that are actually me not allowing me to log in. So let me use a powerful user here. This is uh, Centrify Direct Authorized for Windows that has rules that doesn't allow those guys to log in. Um, but um, notice that, let's just say I'm going to do uh, any privilege action in here. Uh, with the Centrify agent, I can take a look and see if I'm being audited or not. Um, and notice in here that it's not being audited. I'm going to trigger an action here. Perhaps I'm going to launch a new desktop, and, and this desktop is going to be audited. So everything that we start doing from this point on is going to be audited. 
but the, the key here is that I've bypassed the, the vault because I'm not auditing what I'm doing here in the in uh, on the job box so um, in here I can just do some actions here and whatnot so um, once I close this desktop just go ahead and log off so I acted as if I went bypass the uh, the vault the benefit of using centrify is that notice that we we were able to capture this before now I can go and do a refresh and in Windows you'll see that I, I'm, I'm gonna have a Windows session as well so let's do today and do a refresh and I think that my session should be down here here it is this is the session that I have to member to notice that I can still see the transcription so I went and bypassed the the vault but I I still can see everything that all the events that the user generated and I'll be able to re to replay the movie of what the user did so our approach in this case is actually much more robust because you can use the same technology that you're entitled to to protect uh, the jump box scenario but at the same time you can use it to audit uh, uh, the system um, in, in, a, in a very unique way you can audit people that go around that so um, I'm hoping that uh, this resonates with you because ultimately uh, you want to be able to provide that granular auditing and you want to keep things simple in terms of your network uh, so you don't you know deploy very complex rules with their firewalls to make sure that people conform to um, initiating sessions only from the vault or the or the password the manager or, or, or the session broker and I'm hoping that act, this actually helped uh, this series so you can see that Centrify provides the most comprehensive solution because it not only does help you on premise, uh, but it also allows you to help you with your cloud scenarios as well.